G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator. Let's we'll start from scratch series on Hoyt Belleron. Uh, so here's our chickens and they have started to produce eggs, which is great news. That means that there's just money sitting right here. And we'll sell them when the time is right. So I think roughly they've got about five or six months to produce us a good selection of eggs there. So first job of the day is going to be clearing the field of these straw bales from the last harvest and we'll put those on our trailer and we'll leave those to one side until they're ready to be sold. The price for straw is very low unfortunately. Even on a good day it's not very good but it's better than nothing. So we've got about 10 bales I think here on the field. So we will stack those up and when the price is right we'll get rid of them. And then we want to get this field turned around and cultivated and I think we may need to spread some lime on here as well today and then we want to be ready for planting again I think planting is in September or October I can't remember which one it is we will double check that and this trailer is parked on a hill so I don't know how we're going to go about putting this first bale on once we've got one bale on we can strap it which will stop the rest from falling so take two on this Hopefully it's going to be good enough to stop it from rolling off. Just need to be able to get a strap on there. And the rest of it should be easy peasy. Okay, put a strap on there now. It doesn't go up and over, but that's okay. What's going on here? No, we're dragging the trailer, so I think we may have strapped ourselves to the trailer. So let's just take that off and hopefully it's not going to roll away on us again. If it does, we'll have to reposition the trailer. Okay, seems to be good. Quickly jump out and get a strap on that. And we'll continue with the rest of it. So we're going to chop down some trees today as well. And we want to get this field cultivated, lined, and also chop some trees down so we probably will hire our first worker to work on our own field that is. I have hired one previously on a contract. No, no big loss to us there. There's a couple more bales for us and we'll, we'll put a time lapse in here I think. two bales one just falls off but we'll come back to that that's no big deal so we've actually got quite a lot of straw here these are 11,000 each and we have one smaller one which would be from when we used the baler on the grass fields but that's still going to be I think they're like 7,500 or 9,000 I can't remember but there's still there's a lot of um, straw here for sale so it's roughly about a hundred thousand. The price isn't going to be that fantastic, but it's quite a bit of money there for us either way. So I'll try and roll this bale back up onto its edge so that we can stack it up properly. There we go. Hopefully we can pick it up without pushing it over again. That'd be great. And the messy Ferguson here does a good job. It's just been a great all-round for us so far. We've done I think seven years. I had a look at the stats for the the game. I've done seven years of in-game and I've had this tractor and it's done everything for us so far apart from the harvesting obviously. But 
we uh, we do want to get a second tractor because this one is it's costing us a lot of money to repair it all the time and it would be good to reduce the use that it has but there we go we've got a decent sized trailer of bales there so what's the price for straw it's not great it's 3233 goes up to 48 ish so I mean 48 when you're talking about a hundred thousand liters or so of straw is quite a considerable amount of cash so I think it is worth us waiting until the price is good so in the meantime we'll just pack this up over here next to the sheds and we'll get busy doing some of the other jobs that we need to do today we are going to have to lease a lime spreader because we don't own one yet and we don't really use it enough to uh, warrant owning it it's all good so we'll chuck the weight onto the front of the tractor now and we will pull out the cultivator I'll do the tricky little corners and maybe a headland or two and then I'll set that off on a worker and we can shoot over to the other farm where the house and the greenhouses are and we can um, start chopping up and prepping for some trees and hopefully by the time he's the worker has done the cultivating then we'll have the trees ready to load up onto a trailer as well there's a bit of money sitting there in those trees so it'll be good to get rid of them and put that money into our pocket first of all we've just got a few tricky little spots here to do don't do these, the worker will never get them. You have to do them anyway, so we might just do it before we even set it off on a worker. It won't take us too long, it's just this corner, the corner right down the other end there, and then maybe one or two runs across where it meets the road to make it as easy as possible for the worker to turn around in. So then we can get our line down and we can start thinking about planting for next season. So let's get on with it. Okay, we've done the tricky parts now, so this is just our last little bit here. And we can set the tractor off with a worker, and they can cultivate the field for us while we head up to our other land and start preparing some trees. Hopefully, the workers are going to have no problems with that. Looks like he's going well and we'll come back and check on him a little bit later but for now let's just jump over to our farmhouse here and we'll have a look and see what we're dealing with we've got big trees here not sure on the name of these i'm going to cut them off as low to the ground as possible now we are going to have to hire a stump grinder after we've done all of this but there's no rush to do that we will plant more trees after these have been taken care of and sold they are a good good money maker having trees i would like to own the sawmill as well actually but that is a hundred thousand dollars and i feel like a hundred thousand dollars could be invested into the farm a bit more there you go that tree positions itself nicely so we'll strip off some branches uh, seen other people do this quite successfully just running up the trunk of it but it doesn't always work that way for me it's not going too bad though we might just need to come back through and get rid of a few of the other ones anything that we miss but yep gonna be good we're gonna get ourselves a log trailer I've seen a good one on mod hub so while I cut all these trees, yeah this is how I like to cut trees much easier and you can actually see when you miss something so uh, yeah there's a good log trailer on mod hub uh, it's cheap enough so I'll get these prepped up and ready to go and then I'll get our get our log trailer up here and hopefully that'll be good we'll get a couple of loads down to the sawmill today start making some cash well we've cut down all the trees and just gonna I've missed a few branches here and there just gonna go through and do a bit of a tidy up get those all ready and then we can start thinking about cutting them up into the length that we need 
I'm not too sure what that is at the moment. We need to see what the trailer is in the flesh. I need to know what kind of size that can handle. I don't want to overcut or undercut because you get more money for the longer length. So be good to make them as long as possible, obviously. And that looks like a branch is stuck under the ground there. Might have to come back to that when we do the, the chopping. But we've got 20 trees in that field to be sold. So hopefully we get a good price for that. Just want to double check this guy's work and make sure he hasn't missed anything. Looks like he's done an alright job. We've got a few stones. We do have stones turned off. So I'm not going to waste my time rolling those. And we do have more trees on this field to chop down as well. And we'll let this guy finish this one strip and we will take over to finish off. And then we're going to head down to the store and we'll hire ourselves the lime spreader. Buy a couple of bags of lime. Hopefully two bags of lime would do it. I think those bags are 2,000 litres each. Can't imagine we'd need much more than that. If we do, it's not really that big of an issue anyway. We've got plenty of money at the moment. And the chickens have plenty of feed as well. So next year, or this year, for next year, we're going to be planting more wheat because we don't want the chickens to run out of food. And if we don't plant wheat this year, then we're going to have to rely on what we have, which was about ne nearly 30,000 litres of food but I don't think that's enough to last two years because I would like to put maybe like a whole field of canola in for us to sell and then another load of wheat for the year after but I don't think that where food's going to stretch that far so it's best to just stay on top of the food the chickens are going to make us money anyway we might as well just keep them happy instead of us paying for food might as well use this field and we'll buy ourselves a new field for something like canola or soybeans. Well, here we are, we're just about at the store now. And we're going to get ourselves that fertilizer spreader. And the tractor looks like it could do with a top up on the fuel. So we'll put that on the pump while we have a look at the shop menu. Cheap enough to fill the truck. So we'll let that go and we need fertilizer spreader and the breed hole and we will lease this just over 2,000 not too bad I don't even think we'll get an hour's use out of it um, 2,000 litres so we'll get two of those that should be enough for us okay tractors full up and a nice shiny uh, breed hole is that the colour that my tractor used to be, or is that a different red? My tractor does look like it could do with a clean and a new paint job, perhaps, but we don't want to be wasting the money on that at the moment. We need to save up for bigger things. Well, there's the field, struggling a little bit to climb up the hill. Lucky like we haven't loaded this trailer right up. But we'll do a nice quick job here with the lime. And then that's one more thing ticked off the list before we come to the planting. And I would say that this amount of lime should... It is actually going down quite fast, but I hope it's going to stretch far enough for us to do the whole job. It's not really that big of a field. It should be alright. We just don't want to end up missing big patches like that corner there. If we miss too many of those then we might find ourselves running out. And this field here is a little bit bumpy for us. Not too much of an issue though. So yeah, nice quick job here. We'll get this done and then we'll take a look into the mod hub. I'll do that off screen and I will go and download the logging trailer that I've got my eyes on so I shall see you very soon I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day 
The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. there we go pretty much at the end of it now just got a couple of little patches to do and there's also been a missed patch on this corner right next to us and also a couple of little strips up in the field somewhere but yeah, it looks as though the lime is just about going to make it not going to have to go and top it up and even if we did have to go and top it up I would probably just leave it because it's not going to be worth buying a whole new bag just to get these little strips but I think I think we'll be able to do pretty much all of it and that's going to improve our yield bonus when it comes to the harvest so definitely worth doing it if you need to do it do it because whatever the information bar tells you about your field if you do all of these things you end up getting quite a quite a good uh, yield bonus if you do each thing each thing is about 5% all, all up so that's two or three things it's 15% more yield or so that you're going to get so we're done with that now so least items and we'll return that they can come and pick that up from site and now we're going to head back over to the other field I'm going to get that logging trailer sorted out and we'll get it loaded up and we'll start bringing a few loads of logs down towards the sawmill so here we are with our logging trailer it's available on the mod hub. I'm not sure of the name of it exactly, but I know that it does cost 4,500. So very cheap, very efficient. And as you can see, it should be able to hold quite a few logs on here. Hopefully at least one tree or two. Would be good if we can get more than that, but I doubt we'll get more than two trees on here for sure. These are some pretty big logs. So I'll get these loaded up, I'll get us a load and I'll take it on down to the store and we'll see how much we're going to get for it all. Now here we are at the sawmill, got our first load of logs on the trailer. It's not the biggest load, I think we could probably fit a bit more on here if we just organised it a little bit neater. But let's undo our straps and we'll go to the sell point here and see how much we're going to get for such a load here so 5600 well that's not too bad so if we can get two trees on every load that'll be 10 trees and if they're all 5600 that's going to be $56,000 for us so I'll be pretty happy with that but I won't time lapse that because that'll be That'll probably make all of you sick watching this, so I will get that done and I'll show you when we get back to the final load and got all of it done. Alright, final load here. As you can see, we have well stacked this trailer and we even have a log in the fork at the front here because I didn't want to have to do a second trip with the, the final load. I've overloaded this trailer big time. It's kind of pushing me round corners a little bit but it's, we've got there in the end. It's been a nice slow cruise from the farm down to here and we should get probably our best price yet for this load. We've been getting roughly about 6,000 per load and we've done 10 loads or so. This is load number 10, I think. So there we 
go, another 9,300. Yeah, there was pretty much three trees on that trailer. So we're going to shoot on up to the other farm, the arable field, because that's where the next place this trailer will be used, and we don't really have any work to do up at the other field now. So let's get on up there and get ourselves set up for some logging up at this farm as well and hopefully if that brings in the same amount of money we'll be looking at sitting with 150 to 160,000 in the bank account which will be really good for us. Well we're back at the farm as you can see the chickens have produced a few eggs which is good news for us and we've still got that straw to sell we've got weeds growing in the crop but um, we haven't planted anything yet there's nothing in the sale nothing that we need anyway forage wagon and a tanker we don't really have any need for those we're keeping an eye out for a used tractor though so we'll double check that there's nothing left in this yeah nothing left in our trailer so we've got 30,000 worth of food for the chickens and I'm not sure that that's going to be enough so we will definitely be planting more wheat for the next year and there is also a mod on mod hub for um, a windmill so we might grab that which will produce flour and but we need to decide what we're going to do with the cash or what we need to be saving for and we definitely want a new field that one there is quite um, affordable field 40 we could pretty much get that soon especially after the winter when we sell everything the lettuce the honey the silage so we might be setting up over 200,000 by the next episode I might say because there's not really much for us to do in between now and then maybe get a couple of contracts done but very little to do on our own farm got to go and mow the grass again and make more silage we also got a full trailer load to sell and we might keep some silage ourselves for when it comes to getting cows but I think field 40 might be the go because it's not very expensive and it's decent enough we'll get a good crop in there we would get a good yield of um, canola or soybeans or something and I want to put um, cows up on field 52 which is our silage field so who knows, field 40 might become a grass field again and that'll make more money in silage for us so these are decisions that we all have to think about and see what's going to be the best for us but I definitely want to get some cows and I definitely want to get a new field and we got some seed in there, might be enough to do the job when it comes to planting so thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next episode